Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy and joyous Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Woo, woo, woo. We got through a whole five day week. Woo. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. All right, everybody. So sorry that uh, my computer was giving me some trouble and we weren't able to do Hawk TV yesterday. So I apologize, but we're back in business. Everything's working now. And we had a great day yesterday. Yesterday was December 1st already. I can't believe it. We did a great job with the fire drill. We even had the fourth graders practice how to leave the cafeteria because everybody should really know what to do if there's an emergency in the cafeteria. If someone says time to go to level zero, we go to level zero, we get quiet. And then we follow the directions of the cafeteria aides or whoever's in there. Some folks might leave through the gym. Some folks might leave through the front door. So just listen, pay attention because they'll tell you what you need to know so that you can make it out of the building safely if we ever had a real emergency. Uh, we also have um, a lot going on today, Friday, December 2nd, and it's day four, my goodness, day four. Uh, it looks like around, what, around 1045, I believe our fourth grade will be doing a chorus rehearsal today, and then that'll be in the gym. And then on Monday, of course, we have uh, the chorus concert and the fourth grade orchestra concert. That's at seven o'clock in the night, in the evening at Hoover. And we'll have like a dress rehearsal for our uh, second and third grade students uh, on Monday the 5th at uh, about 9.30 a.m. So it'll be second and third grade. We'll get to see the concert uh, rehearsal on Monday, all right? And what else is going on? All kinds of things. Um, so two days ago, I guess, I was in Miss uh, Donaghy's class they were doing an amazing social studies uh, lesson about what schools were like a hundred years ago. And they were talking about how there were some schools where they would have a school bus, but instead of an engine, it was powered by horses. Horses would actually bring the kids to school on the school bus. Amazing. And they talked about how they didn't have really cool interactive smart boards. They had chalkboards. And I wasn't around a hundred years ago. But I remember, I'm sure Miss McKenna remembers, I'm sure Miss Goodwin remembers, I'm sure Miss Himmelfarb remembers, but there was a time when being the line leader was not the coolest job. The coolest job in the classroom was the eraser clapper. And it's really unfortunate that we don't have eraser clappers anymore because we don't have any more chalkboards. I mean, Miss Lawrence and Miss Pinto, they, they tried to hold on to one for years and years. And I said, no, you know, we really got to move forward. We got to get rid of those chalkboards. But it was a really cool job. I used to be the eraser clapper. And um, you can talk to your teachers and they'll, they'll tell you. They, they might remember that too. So that was really cool. I enjoyed that. And um, also, I'm really excited that in addition to um, all the wonderful things we do here at Hoover, there's some really neat things going on um, at the Bucks County uh, Intermediate Unit. They're doing some things where like you can maybe pay some money and maybe at night or on the weekend, if you're interested, you could participate in like a, a robot competition or some sort of computer thing or some sort of science thing. It's really cool. So I've sent that to uh, some of the parents. They might be interested in that. And next week is also our hour of code. So we're, we're going to really try and promote computer coding skills because it's amazing how many opportunities will be open for you if you know something about how to program a computer. It doesn't matter what job you're going to be in or what field, whether you're in business or uh, whether you're in engineering, whether you're in education, knowing how to code will really take you places. So I highly recommend that you learn how to do some coding. And it's a lot of fun too. 
So I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you get a chance to get outside and run around a little bit. I hope you get a chance to read some good books. And let's make today the best Friday ever in December. Okay, so let's make good choices. Let's be respectful, responsible and safe, especially in the cafeteria. Let's really try and think about how we can sit on our bottoms, how we can kind of keep the noise level a little down, how there shouldn't be any pushing in line. And let's make sure we follow directions the first time. Okay, have a great day, everybody.